hello 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 again to all of my curvy fashion for dolls and my fashion for dudes wow. welcome to another coco's couture closet i am coco and this is my closet 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 okay reset <laughs> If you are new here, hello love, welcome to Coco's Couture Closet. Uh, whether you found out about me through word of mouth, through social media, through just browsing on YouTube, I am happy that you decided to stop by. Please stick around, like, comment, and subscribe. Show your girl some love and make sure to hit that bell so that when I upload a new video, you can be the first to know so you can be the first to watch. If you are already a subscriber, oh, hello love. You guys know that I smile every time I think of how great of a group of subscribers that I have on YouTube. I love you guys dearly. And yeah, let's just keep let's just keep our Coco's Couture family and our curvy fashion for dolls. Let's keep let's keep us growing. Let's keep the channel growing. Let's let's do numbers in 2018. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do numbers in 2018. You hear me? Your girl is trying to do numbers. As you guys know, I was doing the free trial with Gwenny B, and I decided to go ahead and do a one month of uh, free uh, one month of paid subscription uh, at the I believe seventy nine dollar two item level um, because I got a uh, either a five dollar or a ten dollar coupon uh, for signing up. It was like kind of like a credit or you know something like that to put towards my first bill, and so I ended up getting a rebate price for the first bill. And so I was like, you know what, I am going to take advantage of this because actually I missed the deadline to cancel the subscription so that my account was not billed and so I was like okay instead of trying to call them and tell them to reverse the charge that I don't want the plan I'm going to take it and I'm going to do it for another month just so I can kind of be able to give my subscribers more of an insight to what being a subscriber with Gwenny B is like and what you know the some more pieces that I got well, I want to start off by saying I was completely confused because I got two calls from a woman that uh, works for Gwen Gwenny B and she was basically telling me to keep my closet full so that they can continue to send me out merchandise. And so, which confused me because I thought that you can only have two items in your home at a time. And the way she was explaining it made it seem like, no, as long as you keep a, your closet full, they'll send you out two items uh, at a time, but they'll come at any random time. So I decided to go ahead and keep the two items that I had to see if they were going to ship me out two more, even though I had those two still in my home. And the bad part about those two items is that I really didn't care for, well, one of them I didn't care for at all. Um, and another I cared for, but it was, it was really cute and I wore it and then I was ready to send it back. But I kind of wanted to play around with the membership to get a better understanding. So then I decided to, you know, let me go on, uh, YouTube and see how other people have done the subscription plan. And so that's when I came across, um, I can't even think of whose video that helped me out, but basically they were saying like you only get a certain amount of your subscription is per items in your home. So if you have two items in your home, you're not going to get more items until you go online and show that you ship back out to Gwenny B the items that were in your home, then they'll send you out two more. So when I watched that, it was about a week later uh, after um, I had held the items an extra week. And so basically I had just wasted a week of the Gwenny B, um, the Gwenny B subscription. And so I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and get these to the mailbox and so I can get another shipment. Um, you know, and my whole thing was 
when what I felt like should be happening wasn't what was happening. What I felt like should be happening is that you all have a package waiting for me on standby that just needs a shipping label. So basically, you all uh, pull two items from my closet and then just ship them and I should have them within two days. Well, it takes about five to six days, um, not including the weekend. So five to six business days to get your next shipment once you have ship uh, marked the other stuff at, that you had before as sent back. Um, so basically I had wasted about two and a half weeks between waiting for the new items to come and trying to figure out exactly how the subscription worked. And so I was, I'm kind of disappointed in that because that $70 kind of gone down the drain because the first two items that I shipped back to get the two items that are on my lap, and those two items actually came at the end of my free subscription so i could have still had the opportunity to try on wear and do a video on those items and just end it there because once you cancel i think you have like five to seven days to send back any of the garments that you have or three to five days i have to look it up uh to send back any of the garments that you have in your possession um, you don't have to send them back before you unsubscribe. At least that's the way that the woman was telling me on the phone. Now, the proof will be in the pudding because if I want go to cancel my membership on the 5th and they say, well, you still have items in your home, you can't cancel your membership until you return those items, then I'm going to be upset. Um, because I was told that, you know, you have a small window to get those items back once you cancel your membership. So I'm hoping that that's the case. But, so what I'm going to do is combine the two packages that I got. Um, so between a three month period, I've been able to try on six items. And so, and I want to get this out the way so that I can go ahead and ship these items back, uh, and get at least one more box. Uh, before they, you know, before I cancel my membership because today is the 29th and on the 7th, the membership will charge me again. So I have to cancel the membership by the 5th or the 6th, which means I have to get these in the mailbox by, tomorrow, by Wednesday so that I can get them in the mailbox by Wednesday and have a package next week that I can wear and ship back and not be charged anything extra. So, yeah, that's kind of... So, all in all, Gwenny B is a good program if it's explained to you correctly because I feel like I could have definitely squeezed in maybe another two um, packages in between the time I waited to ship those other packages, uh, that other package back of the two garments I didn't like. And then the five days that it took for me to get another package. I feel like that the shipping should be second day air or something like that. Or, you know, second day priority or something. You know, so you get the best uh, benefit out of paying $70 a month to rent clothes, which is kind of steep. Um, but... Um, I do want to tell you guys about the pieces that I sent back and then you're going to see them also. You want to see me try them on as I'm talking. So the first piece that I had was this gray and pink short. It was either short sleeve or kind of, it was sleeveless actually. Uh, sleeveless dress and it was a crossover dress. Now the thing about the crossover dress was that you really had to search for the hole in the inside of the dress that allows you to pull the strings through the dress and turn it into a crossover dress. So the first two days, I was over it when I was trying to put it on and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna send it back and give it a bad review and let them know, you know, why. But something told me, because on the, on the uh, girl, the model online, I really liked how it looked. 
Granted, I didn't think that they were going to send it to me right away because I did not make it a priority item. And the color combination is very off-season. So I didn't think that they were going to pull that from my closet to send me. So I was really surprised that they did. Um, but nevertheless, it ended up being a little bit too big for me. Um, it was by the company International Concepts. And you guys have heard me mention them. Both pieces actually were by International Concepts. And you've heard me mention them before. And when I mentioned them before, it was with the green jacket I got from Gwenny B. And the green jacket was a little too big. So I'm thinking that in international concept items, I need to go down a size. And I'm not actually a 3X. I'm more like a 2X. And so um, that's something that I learned from having those items. But the dress, it just... The color pat, the color scheme was not on season for me. It was not very winter. Like I had to tone it down with some black boots to feel like it was okay to go ahead and try to wear it. Um, so I do think that that's another thing with Gwenny B is that, you know, the clothes you should be sending out should go with the season. You know, um, I feel like for seventy dollars a month there should be a little more catering to the customer. Look where you're shipping me items and determine what items to ship me. You see that I'm in the Midwest. So send me items that will be Midwest appropriate in January and not Midwest appropriate for June and July. So that was a big problem for me. Now the dress was very thick. And so that was another thing that made me go ahead and still wear it is that the material of the dress was not summer. The dress was more like a spring dress where it's still breezy, but it's not freezing and it's not hot. Well, it, at that time it was freezing out here. So I was kind of upset that I got it. I actually wore it to work and then I, you know, after the way I sent it back. The second item that I got from them was this really pretty black and white uh, dress. It was all black with white and gray flowers on it. And get this, guys, your girl stepped out of her comfort zone. The sleeves were bell sleeves. You'll see in the try-on, they weren't excessively big bell sleeves and doing too much like I don't like. They were nice, you know, uh, bell sleeves, and they didn't taper here and then get big around the hand. It was just like a whole flowy thing, right, you know, at the wrist. And so I really thought that was cute. That dress was an amazing material. It was like a sweater dress, but it was that thick sweater material and it zipped up from bottom to top So you didn't have to like pull it over your head Even though I think that's what I did because the dress was a little bit too big So I think I ended up pulling it over my head You'll see that I paired it either with some black boots or some gray boots and I actually wore that to work too And I got a lot of compliments on that dress. So I was really happy with that dress I almost almost bought the dress honestly, but Number one, I can't, I have to tell myself, you can't buy everything you like, you know what I'm saying, from uh, Gwenny B because you're not renting anymore, you're buying clothes, and if that's the case, you need to just go buy new clothes. So, I gave the dress up, and also because the dress for me was like a three out of five, uh, because, no, four out of five, I'll say, because it was kind of big, but the fit of it was very work appropriate, and I was happy about that. So, maybe after the, the dress retailed on Gwenny B's site, uh, used for like $45, and it, I felt like that dress was worth $45, so I may actually, ugh, it was probably worth like $35, knowing that it's used. I would have paid $45 new for it. Uh, so knowing that it's used, I may, what I like to do is if I see something on Gwenny B's site, I'll go and Google for it, get the retail value of it, and see what it'll cost to buy, me, buy it for myself new. And then if there's a big price gap, like with my Jessica Simpson jacket, it was re regular retail at $80. Gwenny B sold it to me for $42. Because if there's like a big gap, 
then I'll go ahead and buy it from Gwenny B. But if I can buy it online at the same price, then I'll just do that. Um, but what I will say is Gwenny B does take really good care of these clothes, you guys. Like, there was no staining, no smelling, no no seams popping, no anything. Gwenny B took really, takes really good care of their clothes, and I can appreciate that. There wasn't, like, must stains, you know, from somebody who was extremely sweaty wearing the dress or anything and so I appreciated that and so that was the black and white dress so when I sent those items back I got these items now these items either arrived to me Friday this past Friday or this past Saturday but regardless I was like okay I want to get these dresses I mean I want to get these pieces worn and sent back so I can try to get another piece two pieces before my subscription ends and so this first piece i got is this beautiful blue velvet dress now what i like about this dress is not only is it stylish and it's on trend but it's long sleeve um but my arms are kind of long and so uh and the there wasn't a good taper. The taper is kind of wide at the wrist, and my wrists are, like, really small. And so um, it kind of dangled and looked really, like, really weird. So I ended up pulling it up and just throwing on some gold bangles, and it was really cute. But I wore this to work today, actually. I wore this to work today, and I didn't wear a cover-up over it or anything. It was, it came, um below the knee uh, just a little no it came like on the knee so it was right uh, maybe mid knee and it was it was a little um shorter in the back but the good thing is that the dress was it it was a big fit so it wasn't a fit like my normal like party dresses and stuff like that would be it was actually a flowy fit and so it looked very elegant and very pretty. And you'll see in the try on that it's a very pretty dress, whether you're like going out to dinner and you want to throw on a nude pump with it or wear it like I did today uh, with my brown uh, camel color boots and my brown Louis Vuitton bag. And it was just a really pretty look. And I love this blue. The material is really stretchy. So if you're like a 4X, you probably could fit this and it'll, you know, hug your curves just right. It wasn't very curve hugging, but because of how my butt sits anyway, it sat well on my physique period but it, it sat well but it was very work appropriate and so i really like this dress honestly i wouldn't mind buying this dress and having this dress in my closet for work for like those days i love i love dresses that i can wear to work because that means i don't have to iron so because i don't like being wrinkled and so i like having these grab and go like this crushed velvet so I would love to buy this, but I'm not going to right now. Like, I just, it's like $45. I just don't have a $45 to just blow on the dress. Um, and so I'm not going to buy it, but I really want to. This dress is by London Times. So it's London Times, U.S. size 22 wide. And so that may be why I had the extra wide in material, the extra wide space, because it's a Y and not just a regular 22. Usually if I'm a 22, it's a regular 22. And so um, that's probably why I had the extra space. But I love this dress. It is beautiful. I love the blue crushed velvet. I love the material, the thickness of it. It just, it was just so pretty. I felt really pretty in it. And I also wore it for a video that I did that'll be up soon. So you guys will get to see this dress again. So, and, and you may even see it next year because I may, after the wedding, go back and buy it. I'll definitely, I'm definitely going to note it as one of my faves and give it a five because I really liked it. So this next piece is a blue jean jacket by a company called Plenty and it's by Tracy Reese. It says made in China, size 3X. And it's a blue jean jacket and it buttons all the way up and it also has like gathering in the back. And 
honestly, I thought that this was, I thought that this was a shirt. Like, I thought this was going to be a blue jean shirt because it buttons all the way up in the collar. Like, look how it buttons all, it has buttons from top to bottom. Like, and the fact that it gathers around the waist, this looks like a shirt. But it was so big that I wore it as a jacket and a try-on that you'll see. And I also didn't really care for it. It's very heavy. It's very heavy and just not really cute. Like, even, like, I like a long blue jean jacket, but I don't like an oversized blue jean jacket. I don't really, I guess if, if, unless I'm going to wear it over my shoulders, then maybe that's cute. Um, or like, you know, do it something like this, you know, and kind of wear it like that, you know, something stylish like that. Now that I'm thinking about it, you know, I could have just put it over my shoulder. Um, but I think I was more so upset that this wasn't a shirt like I thought it was going to be. And so I was just over it completely. But it's long sleeve. It's very heavy. That's another thing. It's like, I don't like heavy jackets. Like, I don't I don't really like wearing my coat in the wintertime. So I really don't like an extremely heavy jacket. Um, especially not a blue jean jacket. When I think blue jean jacket, I think grab and go. This thing is heavy. Like, it's heavy. You know, and so I'm glad that they paid, Gwenny B pays for the shipping back on these because this probably would have cost a little change to send them back because of how heavy it is. Um, I can appreciate the big buttons. The larger buttons made it easier for me to button with my nails on. The uh, zipper, I don't know if it, let's see if this is a working, it looks like a working zipper, but it also looks like it's kind of weirdly on here, and so I don't want to push it, okay, there we go. Okay, so the zipper, okay, so the pockets are not working, so that's a minus. Uh, let's see if the button pockets are, nope, the button pockets either, they're non-working, um, so, and so are these pockets. So that's weird, it's a blue jean jacket with no working pockets, like, that's super weird. So, uh, this definitely is not, for, and then I didn't like these at the top by the shoulders. I just felt like that was real old school and that wasn't what I was looking for for this piece. So I'm not going to say this is a poorly made piece because it's not. It's very well made. It's very well constructed. It's just not what I thought it was going to be. And so it kind of turned me off to it. And you'll see I even put the blue dress on with this and I... <sighs> It was okay, you know, so um, this so this wasn't, you know, one of the exciting, you know, pieces that I've gotten in the Gwenny B. Hall. So, all together, and this is my review on having had Gwenny B. for the past two months, one free month and one paid month. Uh, do I think that it's worth it? Yes, at the $69 level, like if my membership... The $69 one is actually like a $80, $75 one, um, but I had like a $10 coupon or a $5 coupon or something like that, and so it brought the price down. Um, but I wouldn't per se go over two items, you know, doing the two item membership, and I'll tell you why. Because everything is hit or miss, you know, um, Gwenny B will make a referral, like, they'll um, tell you, like, we think you're this size in this company, you know, and if you trust the website, sometimes you end up with clothes that are too big, like I did on three different occasions, well, two different occasions with this and then with the green jacket, it, three actually, then with the black and white, but the black and white was, you know, acceptable. The thing is, both of my dresses were too big, but... They were big to the point they were still cute enough to wear to work. So I was able to get a wear out of them. And they made cute work ja work dresses. Um, the black Jessica Simpson ja jacket, you know, that I first got with my first shipment. You guys know I love that. The green jacket, although it was pretty and very seasoned 
uh, in season for Christmas. It was too big for me, so I did not like how it fitted, how it fit. Then they sent me the gray and the pink, and that was off color, you know, off season, you know. And then they sent me this piece and the blue piece, and I really like the blue piece, but uh, they both are kind of big. And I like this jacket. It's just kind of heavy. Um, you know, a little too heavy for me. I got to carry all this. I'm dang sure don't want to be carrying no big old blue jean jacket. So half of the items. So all together over a two month period, I had time to send to test out six items. Um, I was satisfied with, um, the black jacket cause I bought it. I was satisfied with the blue dress. It's very pretty. And I was satisfied with the black and gray dress. I was not satisfied with the pink and gray dress. I was not satisfied with the green jacket. And I was not satisfied with the, uh, with the, this blue jean jacket that is here. And so to spend 70 some odd dollars a month and say I, you know, did it correctly, you know, from the beginning, maybe I could have gotten six items for the month. You know, because you have to factor in, it takes five days to ship, you know, and everything like that. And so, um, you know, I, I need to go online and see, like, after you let them know that you're about to send it back, how many days do you actually have to ship it um, once you hit that button? Because I would, now that I'm thinking about it, have tell them the day I'm wearing the item, the second item, that I'm going to be preparing to ship it and then ship it the next day. That way they can at least begin the processing of my package, you know. So, because the processing part takes like three days, then the shipping takes like three days. So, to get that ball rolling when I'm planning to send stuff back, I would probably do it like that. Having known, you know, now what I know about Gwenny B, I would definitely probably give it another shot probably after the wedding when I have uh, more money to like figure stuff out with, you know, I really don't have that to waste or to utilize right now. You know, as you guys know, I am planning my wedding in June for my wedding, which is this June. Um, but all in all, so I would, as far as from my experience thus far, I would give Gwenny B a three out of five just because the rep calling me really confused me. Um, I felt like the information she gave me did not coincide with what I should actually be doing. You know, um, I would have liked for her to break down the process with me when she called versus just calling to encourage me to fill my cart up so they can keep sending me stuff and, you know, fill my cart to get more stuff. But I still have to ship the other stuff back first, which is, you know, I wish she would have broken that down to me a little more. So I could have got a better use of the month that I paid for. Um, again, so all in all, I would give Gwenny B a three out of five right now. Um, and, you know, like I said, I will try, try them again further down the line after um, probably in maybe July or August. And let you guys know, you know, what type of pieces I get for that month. And we'll go from there. So, that was it, you guys. I'm going to try to squeeze in one more box before I end my membership. Um, but if not, um, this will likely be the last, this will be the last review I do for this trial of Gwenny B. Uh, this two-month trial. This will be the last review I do, um unless I get that other box. So that's my, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another Coco's Couture Closet. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I always say, bring your mama, bring your sister, bring your auntie, bring your cousin, bring your gay uncle, bring everybody, honey, cause we got room. And remember that there is always room for curves in Coco's Couture Closet. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.